there was a recent study that came out that I think is really interesting when it comes to self-control psychology. And basically, this new research showed that humility can be a really important contributor to self-control strength. So let's first talk about what we mean by humility and what the psychology behind it is. And then we will look at what these new findings tell us about the role that humility plays in self-control. So too, despite the major philosophical traditions of the world that emphasize the virtues of being humble, psychologists haven't gotten very far in understanding what the real core benefits actually are. We have a few answers though. For example, some research has linked to being humble with seeking self-improvement. In other words, the more humble we are in our day-to-day -day lives, the more we look forward to opportunities to improve ourselves. Other research has connected humility to a better ability to hang on to one's self-esteem in times of failure. In other words, the more humble a person is, the more that person is able to bounce back from negative events in their lives. Still other studies have found out that being humble is associated with being able to develop stronger social bonds, so we are able to connect with other people better. The more humble we tend to be, this research though just looks at people who are already pretty humble to see how their lives differ from people who are relatively less humble. Although it's helpful to know these individual differences in humility are associated with all of these experiences like empathy, forgiveness, respect for others. There is still not a lot that we know about what happens when you make yourself be humble, when you are able to overcome whatever disposition you had originally to force yourself to be more humble than you might otherwise be. Recently, some psychologists have tested whether guiding people to be more humble could improve their self-control success. In one recent study, they simply asked people to remember a time when they felt humble. Simply think back, consider what had happened and what they did. That's all they did. Just remember a time when you felt humble. Then participants thought they were waiting for the next part of the study. And as a thank you gift, the researchers put a bowl of M&Ms in front of each participant. They said that the participants were free to have as much as they liked while they waited. And as you might have guessed, by the way, I set things up. The researchers actually recently recorded how many M&Ms the participants ate against the husbands don't know that this is a study about self-control. They don't know that anyone's recording how many M&Ms they take. They just think they are being given a small token of appreciation for being part of a study. Compared to a group of participants who were just asked to think about a modern day in their lives, the people who had reflected on a time when they were humble at fewer M&Ms when given the chance. In other words, it's the people who had thought about humility who were able to control the temptation, to control the urge to eat candies, is that otherwise they knew weren't very good for them. Even further, if you just look at the people who ate any of the chocolate, at all 40% of people who thought about humility didn't eat M&Ms compared to just 12% of the people in the control condition. Again, what this means is that thinking about time when they had been humble made them more likely to completely resist M&Ms, whereas usually that seems to be pretty difficult. The whole point here is that you can have more self-control success by simply focusing away from yourself and onto other people's needs through the simple act of humility. And it's not just controlling your eating. The same researchers 
have shown that humility can lead to greater physical stamina and better ability to preserve when the going gets slow. So this Thanksgiving, I remember, that the idea is to be grateful. Think about other people, embrace the virtues of being humble, and if you do that sincerely, you might find the peak and peace becoming call gets a little quieter. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like, and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.